Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I'm going to show you guys how we build a yard drain in a French drain. First question that comes to mind is what's the difference? A yard drain is when you use solid pipe and you use inlet basins to take in bulk water during flood events. And then the French drain is when you do the fully contained burrito wrap with no inlet basins so that way you don't get any debris in your French drain system. You want that French drain system after your blood, sweat, and tears go into building this beautiful stone where literally it lasts forever. It has no expiration date. Stone has no expiration date. We're in the middle of a drought and look at that guy's yard. Oh, by the way, this is Shelby Township, Michigan, and that is a spring, which we do see. We've got some big tree roots that we're dealing with as well. And this is really going to help. As that spring brings up that bulk water, we're going to have a yard drain. It'll go in the basins and it'll go through a solid pipe. Now, the French drain is a separate pipe. We have two pipes in this trench. One is the solid blue and one is the eight slot blue. So they're both high octane. They're Boffman Tile Companies heavy duty we're talking this is the top shelf of the tile industry and we're running with nothing but the best so you got fdm's high octane yard drainage pipe manufactured by the boffman tile company so we have an old tree right there and that's an issue that's another reason why this spring can't run to this ditch is because that tree before it was cut down lifted the ground with all the big roots that grew and changed the elevations the homeowners they had lived here for 40 years they knew everything about the neighborhood and right away i said there was a tree there before i even walked up and seen remnants of a tree so we're going to make sure that this doesn't hold any water because we don't want no tree roots in it that's another thing we teach you guys we put our pipe on the fabric on the bottom so that no water's left behind so keep that in mind if there's no water left behind for the trees and shrubs to sniff out you won't fill your system full of roots so here we are we built our way in got our inlets we got high octane man we're rocking so I'm going to let you guys see this whole install. I just wanted to give you a nice intro into what's going on here. And yeah, the solid pipe is inside the burrito wrap. It just can't contaminate the French drain. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy our hard work. I'll get you on the back end of this video.
There's our eight slot high octane and our solid high octane side by side. I want you guys to see this. I wanted to bring it to your attention. It's inside our burrito wrap. So those inlet basins that are going to bring in all kinds of debris go in a solid pipe. You could jet the solid pipe out if it needs to be, but you'll never contaminate your French drain system. That's how you build a yard drain in a French drain. So check these guys out, man. They're rocking and rolling. I mean, obviously, Valentin, he's like doing ballet when he's on that 1550. Can't say enough about it. Out of my crew, if there's anybody running a ditch witch, if there was only one ditch witch that was running, I want Valentin on it. And he knows that. And when it doesn't go that way, I tell somebody to get in the trench, rake some stone and let the guy that can run circles around all of us run that machine there you go solid high octane eight slot high octane both those are fdm's high octane yard drainage pipe manufactured by the boffman tile company so we're packing stone in the system because we're going to burrito wrap it like we do all of our systems you know the yard drains built inside it but it can't contaminate our Look at that. It can't contaminate our French drain system because it's a solid pipe. Dirt can't go inside the eight slot. So that Royal Blue pipe is high octane. If you're new to the channel, if well, one, subscribe, I hope, and give us a thumbs up if you like these completes because I'm trying to do more of these completes, but it definitely is a lot in the editing room, and it sure is a lot more on the job site. It takes a lot of time, guys. I'm up to 2, 3 in the morning for you, and I hope you appreciate it by giving me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why, why are you not a subscriber? Go ahead and subscribe, and please always give us a thumbs up if you want to see more of these videos. So what that is right there is a little feeder into this spring. You know, the spring's really hard to chase, and it's going to jump around a little bit in this vicinity. So we went ahead and just have a little branch off the main in there because we suspected there was some spring activity. It, there's this... this area that there's just a lot of seepage is the problem when you got these springs and they have a, a tendency to move around a little bit too so you really want to go ahead and run a couple of feeder pipes up into a situation like that guys so i'm gonna let you you know check out the you know the guys buttoning this up man they had to dig through some serious roots didn't they i'm sure you guys seen them axing and chopping and cutting and it was a lot of work to get through this tree and you know what helped us that tree was cut down a few years ago so it was already decaying a bit that does help quite a bit but contractors know this you got to charge extra for a job like that it's just the way it is it just takes too much time so a job like this you know runs five grand and you know you just can't even afford to do it for anything less there's too much material too much labor and uh, of course you're running your machines pretty hard so here we're going to take you guys into some footage where you can watch the guys button things up and see how the yard drain is in the french drain Check out how we closed up this burrito wrap. Look at that. And we're, you know, wrapping the fabric around those 12 inch FDM, 16 inch tall basins. So they can collect dirt, you can dry back that dirt out. So we're catching all the surface water. And 
we're obviously drying the shard up with this screaming French drain with the inch and a half round rock. The guys, I couldn't be prouder. This is just another beautiful, perfect, executed installation by a veteran team with a couple of the rookies. We're taking them out. They earned it. They've been asking. And yeah, you know, we're giving them some time with the rookies. Check that out. Look at that. Yard drain and a French drain. That's how it's done. 